by himself. In, uh, before David will embark on any journey, we praise God in advance. Battle, he has no fault. He will be thanking God for you have won the battle for me already. Oh Lord, you are my battle fighter because you are with me and no victory is sure already. Lord, I know you will always fight for me. Lord, I know you are my God. May your name be praised. May your name be exalted. And uh, when he has lifted God up, God will never bring himself down. Mm. If the way we are, when, when we are in some problem, we are back on marathon fasting, if we can, if we can do marathon praise, by now things would have changed. Mm. Oh, yes. The way we strike heaven, when there's problem with, with prayer, with fasting, if we can praise God that way, life <laughs> Would have been sweet by now. David it's never true. lose any battle because he praised God ahead of every battle. Do you want to get to God's heart? Learn to praise Him. That's why I love to give testimony all the time. I love to make boast of my God. I love to thank God in everything. He done and what it's about to do. That's why the Bible told us in the book of I'm not preaching, please. I'm just I'm only admonishing us, admonishing us so that you go back home and change your lifestyle. Sister. Learn to get to the heart of God. You have prayed, you have fasted. Praise now and let's see. Amen. Amen. What prayer Amen. could not do? Praise, we do it. Amen. Praise, Mother Jesus. Hallelujah. What you're talking could not do. Thanksgiving, we do it. You have been praying for so long. You have been talking, making noise for so long. Learn to make that a joyful noise now and praise Him now and see the power of praise. The key to God's heart is in praise. Are task mm. given. The Bible told us in Mount, sorry in uh, Psalm 100 verse 1 4, and 4 to 5. Say, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye land. Verse 2. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him, for his presence, with singing. Amen. Come be for his present with singing. Joyful heart sings. Sing to the Lord before any battle. And you will joyfully overcome your enemy. Amen. If you're a man Amen. or woman who know how to sing, who know how to praise God, you fight every battle easily. Everything is Amen. easy for you. I remember one time we were doing Praise your souls. Lord said to me, there's a woman here who in every situation she's always praising me. Praising me in tears and in sorrow when she's watching plates, praising me. So tell that woman her praise have prospered her. Her praise have come before me and she will not cry anymore. Amen. From that day, the life of that woman never remained the same again. Amen. Everyone that were mocking her then, they are trying to make her her friends now. There's the power of praise. Amen. The Lord hear you easily when you praise Him than when you are praying. If you are praying, he look at you, and the Michael, and the Gabriel go there. But when you are praising him, he come down himself. See, the Lord, he had been the praises of his children. Amen. Where you are praising God, demon cannot stand there. A home that praise God is a home that prosper. Amen. Show me a home that praise God, I will show you a prosperous home. Amen. You can never live in penury. When you are a, when you are God praiser, 
Whenever you are praising God, the Lord will be raising you. God raise those who praise him. It will erase every problem out of your life when you are praising him. You know what you are doing? Whenever you are praising him, you are taking shape from him. You are telling the devil, God is the supreme. That's why today, Satan wants people to praise him. Satan looks for praise everywhere. That's why whenever those who sing for the Lord, you should do more of prayer because Satan will always want to hijack you to convert your praising God into praising him. Praise Master Jesus. That's why today, if you see churches, choristers, they are easily attacked by the devil. They easily fall into sin. Why? Because Satan hates everyone that prays God so much. You are an special apple in God's eyes when you are his praise. The Lord wants to make somebody again his friend. A woman after my heart. A man after my heart. And you can't get, that, get there to that level by praying. When you are praying, you are asking something. When you are praying, you are asking, Lord, come and do this. But when, when you are praising, you are thanking him. So the Lord prefer those who praise him than those who pray to him. Praise Master Jesus. He said in verse 11, sorry, in verse 4, enter into his gate with thanksgiving. The key to enter the gate of heaven, to enter God's heart, you must hold that key. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is the master key to God's heart. Enter into his gate with that is without thanksgiving, you can't get there. That is a visa. The visa to enter the gate, through the gate of God to him is thanksgiving. That praise must be in your lips, in your mouth, in your heart, for you to pass through that gate of heaven to the Lord. The reason why you've not gotten that thing you've been asking for is because you have not learned to praise him. Hmm. Enter his gate with thanksgiving and into his court with praise. These are the master key. Prayer is not mentioned here. Hmm. That's why even when the Lord Jesus Christ wants to raise Lazarus in John 11, he said, Father, I thank you. Because I know you always hear me. Because of these people, do it again. The Bible says, even in, in Matthew 6, sorry, Matthew 26, from verse 26, say, as they were eating, he took the bread. After giving thanks, he break it. Amen. Amen. After giving thanks, he break it. Jesus Christ know the key to his father's house. After giving thanks, watch the lifestyle of Christ. When he, was, uh, he never do anything without first of all thanking his father for what he's about to do. You cannot thank him and he will restrict you. It's not possible. When you thank him. He do the tangible thing in your life. Amen. Thanksgiving bring about tangible testimony. Thanksgiving will give you tangible transformation. Do you want to experience transformation? Learn to give thanks to God. Yes, sir. Do you want to experience tangible miracle? Learn to thank him. The key is in your mouth. Enter his gate with thanksgiving and into his court for the Lord to hear that petition from you. Praise him. The gate fee is thanksgiving. For you, for him to hear your, your petition, praise him. 
So people jump in, to try to, you, you are a thief. <laughs> you are a buck, you are a, they call them buck la, buck Breaking an entry. You have to break into God and enter him. First of all, they will ask you, where is your visa? Where is your certificate to enter here? You don't have a certificate? That's why before we pray on this mountain, we, we first of all do praises. Praises before prayer. Before you give God your petition, you have to praise him first before he can hear you. In the call to praise, be thankful unto him and bless his name. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy endureth forever. His mercy is everlasting. His mercy is from generation to generation. And his truth endureth to all generations. Amen. What is that thing you are looking for? Is in praise and worship. Amen. That's why I love David. He said in Psalm 17, I will praise the Lord according to his righteousness, and I will sing praise to the name of the Lord Most High. Amen. I will praise him and adore him. I will worship his name forever and more. I will love him with my heart and everything within me. He said in Psalm 107 verse 1, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for, his, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Give thanks to the Lord for the life you are living. Praise him because you are alive today. What is that thing you are looking for that hold your mouth not to praise him? A dead man can never get that thing that is restricting you from praising your father now. As we are talking right now, as your heart is saddened because you have not gotten that thing, there are people who, who have those things in double fold, but they are in the grave. They can never use them again. There is no situation in David's life that has ever held his mouth from praising the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Uh, and Bible told us in James chapter 1, verse 17, every good gift and perfect gift is from above and yes. coming down from the Father of light, with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. You are a gift from the Lord. Praise Him for your life. Amen. The Bible says you are wonderfully and perfectly made. You are wonderfully and fearfully made. For your life alone, give it praise. Every good and perfect gift. You are a good and perfect gift from the Lord. Your life alone is enough to praise Him. Amen. Your being alive, the breath you are breathing alone. If God sees this breath, we all are finished. If God wants to, to destroy this world, He doesn't even need to come and start straight bomb. Just sees the breath, and for someone is finished. On that two seconds, we all are gone. The breath alone we are breathing is enough for Sister Julia and Marcus to say, Father, you are worthy. The breath alone we are breathing is enough for Sister Irene to say, Father, you are a mighty God. Because the breath is perfect. It's good and perfect gift of the Lord. I am alive today because the Lord kept me. What is that thing that I'll be looking for that is better than life? Answer me. What is that thing you are looking for that is better than the life you are living? We touch on life, that thing is useless. That thing that is making you to do your eyes as gorilla now. That is making you to be angry. Your face are, is, is not squeezed like, 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 like bread that they, are, they, they are just have to squeeze. That thing is nothing to be compared with the life you are living. Carry limousine and go to a grave 
I say, uh, this person in the grave, I give you this, this limousine. That limousine will be there. The man will never wake up. Go to cemetery now and see people who left their buildings, who left their mansions, who left their cars. They are lying down there. Go to mortuary. Just as we are in the sanctuary of God now. Go to mortuary and see what is happening there. See what the Lord has done for you that you are not ready to tell the world. See what the Lord has done for you that your mouth is closed, you cannot take in. My mouth is closed, I cannot take in. What end do I need? What end do I want the Lord to do for me that I have not done? Life is better than every other thing on earth here. Without life, everything is useless. There are many people in the mortuary right now. Even there are many people in the hospital. We are not, not even about death now. Some people's legs are raised up now in, in, in hospital. As we are talking now, they are just cutting people's legs now in the hospital. They are tearing them as if they are cow meat. You are here saying, God, because you have not done this, I will not praise you. I'm here giving God condition why I must not praise him. What is that condition? What is that that is better than life that has made you and made me not to praise the Lord? To praise him, all ye people. Let everything that have breath praise the Lord. People are saying, ah, daughter, if only you can give me life. If only I can be well, let all the money go. The money that is making you and I not to praise him now. You are a gift from the Lord. You are a perfect gift from the Lord. Your life alone is enough for you to say, Father, you are worthy. Oh, yes. The life you are living, the breath alone is enough for you to say, Father, you are a mighty God. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Whatever it is that holds your mouth to praise God, that is a, it's an enemy. Whatever is making you to say, Father, thank you, is an enemy to you, it's an enemy to your soul. Because the only key, the only master to God's heart is in praise and thanksgiving. You wake up in the morning, the first you are doing is to start complaining. I don't have this. I don't have that. If you were dead, would you say, I don't have it? No. If you have slept, you die in your sleep. If Christ has not come to wake you up in the morning, will you have the man to say, I don't have this, I don't have that? No. Let us let to praise him. In everything, let us learn to praise the Lord. In 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 18, in everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. The will of God concerning you and I is to, for me and you to be praising Him. There's, we don't have any other thing we are doing on earth here. What are we doing here? Rather than to praise Him. Every life a man lives without the praise of God. It's a perishing life. You and I have no reason to be living here, Sister Ego, if it's not to praise his name. If it's not to glorify his name. The only reason why I think, why I believe I am on earth here, is to praise his name. Is to admonish his name. Is to glorify him. Is to give him praise and thanks. But most of us, we don't know that. Today, David is still the choir master in heaven because that's what he was doing on earth here. We will praise God even in that situation. So in everything, in every condition, in every situation, praise him, give him thanks, for this is the will of God. The will of God concerning Apostle Emmanuel is that I may praise him. The will of God concerning your life is that you may praise Him. Whenever you are praising God, your enemies, your enemies are perishing. 
Do you want to prosper in life? Let us praise God. Do you want to prosper? Praise Him. Your prosperity life is hidden in praising Him. Your transformation is hidden in thanking God. It's as easy as that. There are a lot of testimony. But I want to grab your own. If you can praise Him. If you can give me thanks. He will do it for you. Praise God means you are raising up. You are, you are telling the world he is the almighty. You cannot raise him up and he will bring you down. It's not possible. And I pray the Lord will help us to praise him in the name of Jesus Christ. He said, be careful for nothing. Philippians 4 verse 6. Be careful for nothing. Let nothing stop you. Let not restrict you. Let nothing, nothing whatsoever close your mouth. I love us so much. I will talk about him. The man named Jesus. My soul rest all right. That free giver of life. Would you talk about him? Yes. The man named Jesus, our soul restaurant, the free giver of life. Before now, anytime you are going to the office, you are always start to pray, hey Lord, hey Jesus. Tomorrow, as you are going there, praise him and go to the office and see what God will do. He will come down in that who is that man? When the praise, the praise of God bring that his presence. Do you want the presence of God to dwell with you? Praise him. And you praise him into that office. His presence will follow you there. Praise him in that situation. That situation will become an air condition. All things are possible. We praise and worship. Praise and thank God. Be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, we thank the wit. Wit means is the key. Wit means you can't go there except that one is involved. You can pray, you can talk, but without thank given. You are making noise. You are wasting your time with tasks given. When I come to my office tomorrow, you can come, but make sure you come with Sister Deto. Yes, bring your file, bring your application, but come with Apostle Peace. I learned, I, I, there was, there's a boy in my village, this, this boy is a scholar. I mean, genius. As their course, a generic that time, to, to graduate, even with Tutu in their course, was, it's, it's a problem. But this guy came out with first class. They scrutinized the, uh, uh, they, 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 they sent a uh, 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 delegate to come and check. How? They check and check. They brought, they sat it down again to write it. It, it was evil. When in their presence, evil did more. People came out with sharp first class. This man never had any job. Even come on to teach his school, no way. Praise Mother Jesus. He looked for a job everywhere, no way. Okay? For to stay at home now, he was looking for so no sweet school teacher. No way. One day he said came out in advance that they had uh, uh, you come to a so place in the in the, in the bank as a bank manager, the boy was happy. I, at least God have answered me at least at last. He went there, they were calling people, calling people they called him. Uh -huh. Yes, that your credential is wonderful. Hey, you are a scholar. 
you are, you are somebody that the, the, the whole world want to see. But now, you should have been even in World Bank. He was happy. Hey, his eyes was picturing the card we give to him and all those things. At the end, say, hey, yes, where is the community card? Where is the card? I want to see the card. Say, which card? The card of recognition now. Card of the man that bring you. Card of that man, that, that eminent man in Nigeria. Is he a senator that bring you here? Or is a, or is a commissioner? Or is a president? Say, no, I only saw the other. Say, no. No. You are supposed to, at least somebody is supposed to recognize you. He lost the job. <clears throat> what am I trying to say? That is how it is. Just as the corrupt government of Nigeria needs somebody who is in the aim of affairs to, to, to give you a letter to them, even need you are a scholar. So also, the Lord wants to come to him with task given. Pray all the prayer, do all the fasting, but it must ask you where is the certificate of task given. With, with task given. If done is not there, you will be disqualified. Praise Master Jesus. Later on, the man, the man had to go and embrace God in, in true spirit, and now I believe he's doing well in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So be careful for nothing, Amen. but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanks, you let your request be made known unto God. Let your request be made known until that certificate of thanks is there. Everything you are doing is nonsense. With, that means without thanks given, you cannot get there. Remember we read in Psalm 100. Enter the gate with task given. With task given. He said again in Philippians 4, verse 6. With task given. Have you been praying? Have you been fasting with task given? That's, that's the reason why you've not gotten it. If you can start today with task given, your life will never remain the same again in the name of Jesus Christ. Last, before the time, Psalm 17. I will praise the Lord according to his righteousness and we sing to the name of the Lord most high. If, if there's nothing you have to praise him for, praise him because he's a righteous God. Amen. If you look all around, there's nothing about you to you to praise God for. Your breath is not enough to praise him. So many people try to come to Europe, they die in wilderness, they die in play crash, but here you are. In the presence of the witches and winds that today you are fighting. Which, which, which? Why did they kill you on the way when you were coming? If they are powerful. Why did they cause plane crash to kill you so you don't get to Europe? You came from all the way from Abba to Lagos. They, they, they could not kill you on the way. It seems to be, to be saying, Father, thank you, praise him. You are here crying and weeping and making noise, sorrowful noise. It's a, it's a joyful noise. None of us, we are the architect of our own delay because the key is not in our hands. Because the visa, the ticket, they are not there. But I believe from tonight, as we embrace the lifestyle of praising and worshiping, thanksgiving, our lives will never remain the same again in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That's what makes me different from some people. I make a boast of him. I praise him in every situation. Money or no money, when I come out, I praise him. Food or no food, when I come out, I praise him. I celebrate him. 
and he will never ever let me down. Amen. Praise Master Amen. Jesus. Do you want to prosper? Learn to praise the Lord. Do you want to prosper? Learn to praise the Lord. Do you want to be transformed? Learn to thanks my Father. Do you want a transformation? Learn to thank the Lord. Brother, sister, learn to thank God. Learn to praise Him. And His eyes will always be on you. His eyes will never, He never left David alone. He will never leave you alone. Amen. The day David stopped praising him, and he started, he started looking at a woman. The day that day, he died for him. Okay. So I finished to be praising and thinking, Oh Lord, I am very, very grateful. He wanted to form a big man, and he started looking, and he died for him. The day you stop praising God, then you start, you start perishing. Hmm? The day a man stop praising God, from that day, he start perishing. He will not perish. He will not perish in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 This is the word of exhortation tonight. And I pray with this word, your life, my life, our lives will never remain the same again in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Are you there? You are not born again. <laughs> my sister, my brother, your praising are all, they are useless. Is nothing. Except a man is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Every prayer and what you are doing outside being born again, you are speaking for the devil. Say after me, if you want to embrace God, so that your praise and worship will go to him as a sweet smelling savour. Say, Lord Jesus, I've heard your word. I've decided to come to you today. I have been a sinner. Have mercy upon me. Forgive me all my sin. Wash me clean with your blood. I accept today as my Lord and personal Savior. Come into my life. Come and abode in me. Take my name away from the book of death and write it in the book of life. All things have passed away and all things have become new. Thank you for bringing your word my way. Thank you for saving my soul. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. amen. Have you thanked him? Have you praised him? And uh, today, you have accepted him. All your days of thanksgiving will be recollected, and all the blessings that you have been missing will come to you now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And the great to run this way to the end, receive it now in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. The Lord bless this word in our heart. May this word not be against me, nor against any of us on the last day. Rather, it shall be said of you, welcome, my daughter, who is after my own heart. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.